Yo, yo, one more video before I step out on vacation. Quick little skin fade, you know what I'm saying? Trim down the top, and we're gonna do a, um, a faded bed. So, you know, once again, it's Sneed the Barber. Strictly Skills Barbershop, you know what I represent. Um, we drawing our first guide right there. And that's with the clipper closed all the way around. And if you haven't followed me yet, follow me on Instagram, Sneed underscore the barber. You see it under your screen right there. Um, Strictly Skills Barbershop, one word. Snapchat, Sneed the barber, same thing. You know what I mean? I know I've been chilling for a minute. You know what I mean? I'll be working very busy and stuff. I'll be getting a lot of customers off of Instagram and YouTube. So, you know, keep them coming. Feel free to visit anytime. Now we're cleaning up underneath. With the balding clipper, a.k.a. Mr. Andy's T-Outliner. Yeah, you know, I, had, I was driving for a minute, so that's why you might hear a little noise in the background when I did the first segment of talking and stuff like that. But back to the live action. Now we're going to take the one guard. We're going to go half halfway up and draw our second guide. And we're going to do that all the way around, like uniform. See, the reason why you draw your guide all the way around because you want your fade to look the same pretty much on both sides. So, so the way you keep it balanced, you do everything uni like all the way around. Now we're taking the one and a half guard, which is the white guard that comes with the clipper. And, you know, we're going to start debulking the sides. So we, I usually go up and then I see a see a bulk and then we just uh, cut it right across pretty much what I'm doing in the video right now you know what I'm saying so I mean once you got structure to your fade then I think your fade will come out better and you'll move more efficiently and faster once you know exactly what clip you about to use what it's gonna do and while you're using it is it cutting because you don't want to use a guard and it ain't cutting nothing because I see a lot of barbers do that they pick up a guard and it don't be cutting nothing so you wasted time just now now we taking the one guard and we pretty much taking out that other line that we just made just now and I'm gonna incorporate some clipper over comb save me some time from picking up another clip there you go lift it cut it Lift it, flick the comb out, cut the excess. You know what I'm saying? Whatever's in the comb, you don't need. You don't even need to keep that. So, you know what I'm saying? Same thing, man, going all around. And it's good to practice your clip over comb, scissor over comb, because the more you do it, the better you get at it, and the more you know what you're seeing and you know what you're cutting. You know what I'm saying? Practice make perfect, because... I'm, I'm better every day. I get better every day. So I'm always learning this barber, barbering craft because you never could know too much. You know what I mean? And I love it, man. You know what I mean? Like for, for me to make as much money as I do cutting hair, I would have never thought that it was possible. But I never look for the money. I always look to better my skills. Once I better my skills, then the money came. You know what I mean? And I'm living a decent life. But right here, you see me knocking out the fade, knocking out the um, knocking out the bulk. Now, like in other videos, I had I, w I used to fade up. Now I'm I'm more so like fading down. Cause when you fade down, I think you could um. You could get a more balanced fade. So fading down is pretty much like 
fading out all the lines. Not all the lines, but like every guide that you make and get it nice and smooth and then you come underneath and clean it up. Pretty much the exact same thing I'm doing in this video. Now I'm taking a half guard. So pretty much I use the big guard. So it's pretty much big clip to small clip. And you can't go wrong with that. And like I said, do everything all around, uniform. You know what I'm saying? I feel that because with fading down, I think it saves you more time. Because I'm always looking to save time when I'm fading. Because I'm a very busy barber and time is money. You know what I'm saying? Even if I wasn't busy, I still want to have my chair available to where I could take another customer. You know what I'm saying? Now, I'm adjusting the clipper up and down as I see fit. So if it's not cutting here, then I'm going to close it up a little bit more to where it's going to cut some here and I'm going to see some results. So I'm doing that while I'm cutting and adjusting. I saw some bulk right here, so I just threw on my one clip right here and I knocked that out and then I got right back to the half guard. You know what I mean? And you know, people always say, uh, what about the metal guards? What about this guard? Well, that's like that's like buying your car and using aftermarket parts on it. Yeah, it's gonna work, but it ain't gonna work like how it's supposed to work. So when you when you got a wall clipper, you should always use the wall guards with it. You know what I'm saying? It's like I got a BMW. I wouldn't put aftermarket BMW brakes on my car. You know what I'm saying? I'd rather go with the factory because that's what it's supposed to be on that car. So enough of the metal guards and all those guards. And if you see me doing the video, just get the exact same guards that I'm using in this video because that's when you're going to get the proper result. You know what I mean? And see, the fade is almost done. I've been knocking it out. Now I'm going to go and knock out the rest of the line, which is a, a slight line in it. But, you know, I strive for per perfection. So I like to get it right. You know what I'm saying? Stretch the skin. Make sure you're getting the knocking that blend right out. And make sure you follow me, subscribe to my channel. You know what I'm saying? Hit the thumbs up button if you like the video. You know what I mean? That's always a plus. And feel free to like, comment, and share it. Share the video to who you might think needs this information. Because a lot of barbers ain't giving it up like how, how I be giving it up on these videos. You know, they be trying to keep this game a secret. But... I, w I, be, I make these videos because I be wishing somebody made it for me. You know what I mean? So that's why I'm making it for you. So I'm pretty much working out this fade, getting it nice and crispy. Because, you know what I mean? Your, your customer is your business card. So as soon as he walk out of your chair, compliments supposed to come. And he's supposed to be like, you know what? My barber is Sneed the Barber, Strictly Skills Barbershop. You know what I'm saying? They do the best work. And he he don't even have to talk because the cut is going to speak for him. And that's how you run business. And like a lot of barbers, I always tell them, take advantage of social media. You know what I mean? Because social media is how you found me. So if you're a good barber, make sure you use social media to its advantage. You know what I mean? That's why I always tell people, practice your clip over comb, scissor over comb, because it always come in handy when you cutting. You know what I'm saying? You could always incorporate that in the fade game. That makes the fade even better. Because some, the guard, the, some guards is, you know what I'm saying? You can't get that perfect height. But right now, I'm about to do the fade bed technique. So give me one second. I'll get back to the fade in a minute. Well, I used the one guard first, you know what I'm saying? And I drew the guy at pretty much like the bottom of the ear on the angle. Then I threw the one and a half guard on it. 
going a, f- a couple of directions because the bed going a couple directions. Pretty much trimming it down a little bit, then go up, get that nice blend going on. Little one guard, mix it up. You just got to do what you got to do to work out that fade right there. Get a nice. And see, the thing with fade beards is that um, once you do it, it might the, the fade might not look crispy until you, you actually line it up. So that's why sometimes you just got to give it a quick line just to see how that fade going to look after. So... Real quick. She has some sharp clippers too, man. If you um, if you want to know how these liners is hitting, man, hit my boy Ica Pro up, man. IcaPro.com and get them blades. You know what I mean? Nice and easy. and crispy. And it's crazy because, like, he has, like, you know what I mean? Like, if you go too fast, you, you, you got, like, some... Not bumps on the skin, but, you know what I mean? If you go too fast, you might cut one of them, so you just want to take your time. You see that definition coming in. Yeah. Yep. That's what the razor do. See, I told you. I would have had his bed looking crispy in a second. Now you got to do these loops. That took me a minute to get down the science of these loops, man. I think you just got to watch it and, you know what I mean? Watch exactly... How it's done to where you could apply it yourself and do that raise again. We constantly gotta look on the other side to make sure the loops are balanced, also. gonna smooth it off just like a little afro yeah, I forgot to raise it the other side of his mustache it happens sometimes so you know you just go back and take care of it and keep it moving while you at it man you know what I mean subscribe to my channel don't forget to follow me on Instagram Sneed underscore the barber Strictly skilled barbershop All of that You know what I'm saying I need all that love I like all that love 
I want to know what you think, you know. And these are the magic clips that I'm using. These are pretty much the workhorse that I got. You know what I'm saying? I got two of the cordless. Just in case, when one go dead, I pick up the next one and don't miss a beat. So that's why I got two. Yep. And it look crispy. And it's crazy because I got my magic clips and um once I saw how they work I I pretty much put my um my masters in my trunk, you know. Cause what I'm doing right now I will usually go do this with my masters, but it's a lighter clipper and it cut just as precise. Now I'm hitting that front line up. And since I done tapered down the edges, it's an easy line. Crispy fade. Bed game. You know what I mean? Don't tell me your boy don't get busy. Yep. you at it man you know it's been good it's always nice making these videos i promise you that and you know thanks for always tuning in subscribing comment sharing my stuff so the word gets out there now you see me hitting his his eyebrows up with the razor now you know this is a part of grooming also because you know you can't have no fresh cut and eyebrows is all over the place and hair is all over the customer face it'd be tiny hairs that be on a customer faces once you use the razor and you cleaning all that up that's the fresher they look even more fresher with the face clean because you don't raise it and cleaned up the facial area where Heavy hair he's supposed to be. You see? Customer smiling. He feeling good. He feeling good. He like, damn, man. And I've been cutting this guy hair since junior high school. Seventh grade. And I'm still here. You need them longevity customers. And they got to be willing to grow with you. Just like when you raise your prices up. They got to be able to, uh, you know what I'm saying, understand that supplies is going up, everything going up, price of living is going up, so you need more money for your services to where you feel like doing this haircut just because you're getting paid right, then they got to either agree or they got to, you got to, we got to discontinue your service, just like that. Oh, man, you see these clips, man. Magic clips right here. Hand all steady. You know what I'm saying? Smoothing it off the box. Like they gonna call it down south, you know what I mean? And you're only as good as your tools, so always make sure your tools is working great. Make sure they cut Because if they don't cut You're going to cut somebody Because you're going to be pressing all day on that joint To see it, to hope it cut And, they, and it's scarring up the customer's skin Because I 
I pull up outside with the white five with the white eyes. Z the great in the spaceship. Yeah, we don't only cut hair, boy. We take trips around your city, around your whole world. Uh huh. Might do a 360 around your old girl. Make a toast, girl. Oh, the barber with the slick talk. Uh huh. We the best, boy. Why you talking shit for? All your other barbers dream on. Keep sleeping. This is strictly skills theme song. It's the life, nigga. Yeah, so now we're going to mess up the hair, dust off the customer, and then we're going to hit him with a little bit, of, little bit of water, a little bit of styling gel, the um, elegance joint, the blue, the blue triple action joint, rub it up in the customer hair nice, and then hit the sponge brush. It's going to give it a nice hold, and it's going to... Um, you're gonna, you're gonna be able to see the curliness of the hair. Oh man, fade this butter right there, man. You ready to go? Ready for touch the road, you know? All right. Anyway, once again, thanks for um tuning in. Subscribe, like, comment. Follow me on Instagram, Sneed underscore the barber. You know what it is. Strictly Skills Barbershop. Shouts out to everybody. And keep doing what you're doing. Keep doing your thing. If you're watching this to learn, I hope you learned. If you're watching it because you want to come through, come on through. You know what I'm saying? We always open a new business. All right? Peace.